some other news. Today marks the end of California's COVID-19 state of emergency. KCRA 3 Capitol correspondent Ashley Zavala joins us in the studio. Ashley, you spoke with state leaders about what this means moving forward. Brittany and Ty, I just want to start with a flashback here. Governor Gavin Newsom declared that state of emergency when there were just 53 COVID cases across the state. One person in Placer County had just died and a cruise ship with COVID patients was idling on the coast of San Francisco. Now, millions of cases and nearly three years later, some celebrate the state's response while others continue to call for change because of it. Uh, to uh, advance a proclamation uh, of a state of emergency in the state of California. This is it's not been nearly three years since Governor Gavin Newsom declared California's COVID-19 state of emergency. 11 million cases, 100,000 deaths, and 88 million vaccine shots later, the state of emergency in California is over. During the pandemic, Health and Human Services Secretary Dr. Mark Galley became the face of the state's response. People who've lost neighbors and loved ones, uh, we lament and are still saddened by that. But I think to get to this point where we feel prepared to lift the state of emergency and move forward with the degree of confidence knowing that we've prepared, I mean, that's a that's a big deal for not just me, but Californians across the state. The, the governor's state well of emergency well declaration traffic, gave California the flexibility traffic. to ramp up the response to the virus that included resources for swamped hospitals, testing and vaccines. It also gave Newsom's administration the power to shut down businesses and schools in an attempt to keep the virus from spreading. And I'm really proud of what California did to save lives, one of the lowest per capita uh, fatality rates from COVID across the nation, and it was hard earned. The governor's COVID-19 state of emergency accounted for about 74 different executive orders that made up nearly 600 different rules. It also drew several lawsuits. And it was an abuse of powers. And, you know, that's why one of those lawsuits, lawsuits filed by Republican uh, Assemblyman James Gallagher, who says Newsom overstepped his boundaries. The governor usurped authority of the legislature. And so going forward, we need to make changes to ensure that, that doesn't happen again. While Republican lawmakers aim to keep Newsom's power in check moving forward, state health leaders say California is now better prepared for the next pandemic and future health care challenges. Assemblyman Gallagher has proposed a law that would limit the governor's executive powers moving forward. Meanwhile, at the national level, five other states still have COVID-19 emergencies in place, including Texas and Illinois. The federal emergency declaration ends May 11th.